Tonight, two of AEW's most formidable competitors will clash in an epic battle, and only one will be crowned the world's first TNT champion. I think the executives at TNT realize the value that pro wrestling has. This shows that they have made a definitive commitment to AEW. This is a partnership. It's real difficult to explain to people how revered and how amazing of a moment it is when a new championship is born. I think this tournament, having two of the top ranked wrestlers in AEW facing off to become the first ever TNT champion, it is a very fitting tribute. I think it's a really romantic outlook because I'm unable to wrestle for the world championship and that stipulation that just kind of like remains an albatross and, and haunts me in a way. It's very romantic to think, hey, here's here's one that I can go for. You know, when this whole thing came about, man, uh, TNT coming up with this championship and wanting to put somebody out there in front, I think it was made for us. You want to take something to a party, take him into the party. Everybody's going to look. When he walks into a place, he commands attention. But Lance was made for this. I'm not in AEW to take the whole pie. Just your share. They want to be TNT champion. Difference with me? I need it. Since Double or Nothing of last year, Cody has been creating moments and memories that will be talked about forever. From his historic match with his brother Dustin Rhodes, being in the first ever AEW Dynamite match, as well as the first ever AEW Steel Cage match, Cody has made it his standard to always be on top. Cody is probably the most intense competitor I've seen in many years. I don't think there's anyone any more focused, any more determined. He's somebody that puts a lot of thought and preparation into his matches, and with somebody like Arn Anderson at his side, the head coach of the Nightmare family, that has only escalated. He was born to be a warrior. He was born to fight. He was born to entertain. And every level that he has entered thus far has been a success. After his devastating loss at Revolution, it was unclear what it would take for Cody to move on. The only way I'd be comfortable with it at all is if MJF comes out here right now. It was the ultimate master of ring psychology who would shift his focus. The legendary Jake the Snake Roberts emerged. I hate to spoil the party, but damn, man, I got tired of listening to you crying, bitch. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hail, mighty Caesar. The only reason I'm here is I have a client. A wise man once told me, never, ever turn your back on somebody you respect or you're afraid of. As it turned out, the snake was representing a monster. Well, we had heard this all afternoon that uh, that's Lance Archer, ladies and gentlemen, those who might not know. He is a big stallion, a blue chipper, no doubt, alongside Jake Roberts. He's six foot eight. He is a towering, skyscraping athlete. And make no mistake, he's an athlete. I think Jake Roberts has seen something in Lance Archer that he sees in himself. Big guy, uh, willing to do crazy things in the ring. Lance got the opportunity to go to Japan. Lance got the opportunity to become a more ferocious competitor. Everybody talks! Everybody talks! Lance and I both feel like we were ignored looked over, shunned. Lance Archer, look at him, man. He has got everything in the world. And he's ignored. It's jealousy. You know, jealousy's killed more people than more ever has. Cody was taken aback by the verbal attacks by Jake and wasn't going to be intimidated into a match with Lance. But with the announcement of the new TNT Championship, Cody and Lance would find themselves on a collision course. Oh, look at that! He's gonna win! He's gonna win! 
to dismantle Dustin Rhodes. He's going all the way. Oh my gosh! What a match. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? What do you mind your own business? Says don't throw the towel. He's got Cody Rhodes. Oh my Just god, he's driving up his head to the mat. He's, he's, he's gonna end Dustin Rhodes' career. One, and two, kids him. three. He allowed it to happen. Cody. He, he allowed his older brother to, to, to go down the flames. Their dismantling and destruction of Dustin Rhodes was definitely a message. The finals are coming, Cody. There's no more running, Cody. You are gonna feel the same fate that every single person in AEW that steps in front of me is going to feel, and I'm gonna be the new TNT champion. What the what? hell? Oh my God, look at that giant snake. To see Jake with the snake, uh, it kind of brought me back to my childhood and, and those those memories of being fearful of of Jake and you know what what he had that was writhing around in that green bag. This is his response to what Brandy oh said, I guess. God. Oh my lord! Uh, I think it's it's just all part of his his master plan to intimidate Cody. Can you imagine when Cody finally sees this, how he's going to react? Oh my God! It it is just more fuel for the fire for the TNT Championship. I've been asked to make an apology for my last week's antics. As soon as she kisses my ass, I'll give her that apology. This is our area, our playhouse, our book. We are the authors of that book, and we're writing every friggin' chapter. Like it or not, that's just the way it is. Mike Tyson. He's going to present the champion. He's also going to get free reign. He can do anything he wants. I promised Lance Archer that he gets first shot at Tyson. If this match is about revenge and retribution only, I don't like Cody's chance. Obviously, there's no way to quantify who wants it more. My gut tells me Cody, but I think Lance Archer with Jake Roberts in his corner is an unstoppable force. He's got a no-win here. His leadership is being recognized because he earned it. Oh, oh no. Here we go. 